Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Lord Forant, here in Europa Universalist 4, playing as Bohemia. So, last video I bet went on a bit of a conquest rampage. Rampage and conquest, maybe? And I managed to get a coalition forming against me. I should be okay, and pretty strong. However, on the other side, it did cost me most of my... Uh, uh, yeah, electors. So I'm trying to get those back. It's not proving to be as easy as I hoped it would be. Uh, I'll deal with that. I'm gonna. I got one. Salzburg's friendly. Treyer will be friendly, but Cologne here is going to be a bit of an issue for a while because I'm allied to them. Means no hope. Mecklenburg just despises me. Um, oh, I could actually maybe get Liege on my side, given time. And it looks like I'm finally going to go up a diplomatic tech. Yay. We also have global trade spreading through our lands. And considering how heavily developed Praha is, I will probably actually be getting that at a fairly good pace. It's going to be ridiculously expensive, but... Considering Austria just adopted it. I'm imagining Lubeck here is going to get it soon. Too. No. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to get it before they are. There we are. Praha. Of course, that has to spread unless I had a thousand gold to spend. Which we all know I don't. Barely staying positive as it is. But now I don't have to pay the uh, unbalanced research thing once the uh, corruption ticks down, which will be nice. Although it is currently growing because of all the cores I stole. Do you have just had against Taloxcala. Interesting. Uh, we will attempt to stop it. Looks like... Is that the Spanish there? No. French Mexico. Huh, they're actually proving very slow to uh, wipe out this nation's Vinland. Under Norway is a thing. I think Poland's in a bit of a tr bit trouble here. Huh. There we are. Okay. Let's see how I'm doing with the electors now. Much better. Okay. My diplomatic reputation is recovered a little. Annexing uh, Ansbach, though. It's going to hurt for quite a while. Yeah, another six years. Luckily, my ruler is only 37, so he may live long enough there. Oops. Treaty of Independence on Saxony. Shoot. Um, it's the best I can do at the moment. hate it when people do that. It's really frustrating. Although it is going to eventually tick down because of the enforced religion. Ooh, I just thought I should probably be saving up Popol Influence here to try and get a Popol Legate. That would be helpful. Corruption is ticking down. Army maintenance is killing me. I should probably start making some of these core provinces. Uh, what do states and territories look like? Middlemark, Northern Saxony is a possibility. Lower Bavaria. Middlemark, 
Yeah, middle mark might work. Um, gold is the sign of nobility. We'll go with that. What else? Do I want to try Vorpalmen? Not yet. I'll do Lower Bavaria first. Especially since now estates want the land. Um, what can I offer them? Will that deal with clergy's demands? It will. Can't core any of those lands. Um, I'll give Hoya to the nobility. Is that enough? Yes. Okay, that should help some of my income issues. A little bit. Need a lot more admin power. Sweden has now joined that. Great. Let's make sure all my allies are still friends with me. In the event of a war. Um, we have France. Should join. They should join. They should join. They should join. They should join. Okay. How much does Saxony hate me? A lot. Okay. Um, Pomeranian Separatist. Ah, yes. I forgot to increase autonomy. And I'm covered in Okay. Oops. Can't move that army, actually. There we are. That should deal with that. Yep. People are finally leaving the coalition. Hey, I'm Popple Controller. Nice. Get mains to vote for us. Yes, that would be a lovely achievement. Obviously a ways away, but slowly working. Um, I might send a gift to Cologne. Maybe that would get close enough. Uh, no, I'm not going to send them that big of a gift. Global trade is spreading. Good, good, good. It's going to take quite a while, though. Another diplomat. Where do I want to stick you? Leech. Hmm. I'll influence Leech, I guess. Probably influencing all of them at this point, right? Yeah. It's not a bad move. Leech is almost friendly towards me. Uh, may send them a temporary gift. There we are. That should work. Okay, I've got four electors at the moment. I'm safe. Saxony, on the other hand, is a bit of an issue. Do I actually control any Saxon lands? No, I don't. Hm. Odd. Oh, thanks for the money, Treya. Yeah, coalition's collapsing. I'm perfectly safe. Poland could never join it, which was always going to hurt them. Same thing with Hungary. However, do I have any nations that like me that are not Catholic at the moment? Bremen is Catholic. A bit of militarist, restock. No, it doesn't appear to be at the moment. They all hate me. This is a surprise. However, it is starting slowly to 
they are starting to like me a bit more. So. However, I don't know if this is ever going to get low enough offhand. I mean, they have... Some of them have like 200 aggressive expansion penalty against me. Let's get that under control. I actually have to start moving towards uh, actually taking admin tech again. Oh, popular now. Perfect. Noble. More uh, diplomatic reputation. What else do I need to worry about? Oh, I could get some increased tax there. Missionary maintenance will be gone soon. Corruption should be gone soon. Well, reasonably soon, I guess. Sticking down a fair amount per year. Once the missionary cost is mostly gone, yeah, it's not that bad losing that little bit amount of gold per month. Although I do have to spend time converting other provinces. Joy. And Saxony is eternally disloyal. I don't want to go negative prestige, although technically I could. Now, of course, I'm going to get, yep, unbalanced research again. Great. Always forget to deal with that. I'm just lucky I haven't lost my uh, diplomatic advisor here. He's been hanging in there for ages. Um, let's make an attempt at staying popple controller. I think it it does give me a aggressive expansion thing. I think I'm gonna also lower army maintenance a little bit. That way I'm actually making money. doesn't like me as much anymore. Hmm. Problematic. Hopefully my ruler hangs in there a while longer. Yeah, positive gold income is always good. Corruption still a little bit out of control. Um, no, my current guy worked to earn his place. Trade is spreading slowly, though. And there's my diplomatic guy. Finally died. Slightly cheaper one, though. At the cost of diplomatic power, though. Hmm. Hungary is attacking Poland. Interesting. Who's Hungary's allies? The Ottomans. Okay. Yeah, they're going to probably succeed. Mecklenburg and the Ottomans. So, yeah, so many events. I will keep doing this royal marriage with the Dutch, just to keep them under control. I'm really glad I did not do something stupid like make them an elector. 
on the other hand, then being uh, Protestant is a bit of a pain. Although, actually, I could possibly force them to become Catholic, though. Let me see about that, actually, to be honest. It will offend all the Protestant nations. Yeah. I should be able to force them to become Catholic again. That would eliminate a large amount of Protestantism there. And guess what? Auchin went back to being Protestant again. What a surprise. Okay. Um, let's wait till that takes over. Imperial authority. Enforce religious unity on the Dutch. Now, all of these nations hate me even more. Yep, as expected. But assuming the Dutch do what I want them to do and convert their lands back, I don't think they have a tolerance bonus, do they? No, they don't. So yes, they will convert it. Good. Uh, bonus to Nuremberg. Interesting. Ulm, Palatine, Salzburg, Ravensburg, Spain, Wurttemberg, Mainz, Oldenburg, Nuremberg, Palatine, Homsburg, and Ulm. Homburg changed back, Ulm changed back. If they convert back to Protestantism, I'm going to launch another war against the Palatine. Actually, I didn't manage to launch the war, did I? No, I said I was going to, but I never actually did. Oh well. Um, advancement of religion? No, I won't do that. After all, my tolerance is pretty good. Norway no longer hates me as much. Denmark lost all their islands. Wow. I might have to wipe them out just to gain land and not let Sweden take it. Although Sweden is Catholic, I really don't want them to have that land. Hoping this will be the last major use of admin power for a while. Get Berlin on my side permanently. And gotcha. Good. What are we doing here? Okay, I actually have quite a few people. What happened to Austria? Oh, they don't have an heir at the moment. Oh, that'll change pretty quickly, though, I'd imagine. If they die, though, Great Britain and I go to war. That would be a bit of a pain. Oh. Hmm. I don't know really what to do about that. I guess if it happens, it'll happen. I haven't had a personal union in any of these games, I don't think, really. Other than... No, I don't think I've had a personal union in any of my games. I don't even know if I had any in the Austria game other than those I forced. Huh. It's weird. Spend this to try and get it closer to global trade. A bit of a ways away. I will say though, my provinces are turning out to be very, very heavily developed. Very rich lands. I 
was a thousand. It's gone up so much. Although Bohem Praha alone is eleven percent of my development. Wow. However, global trade is spreading, so Lubeck did get it. I was right before I would. Okay, I will fabricate a claim on Denmark, although actually I could start attacking them pretty soon, couldn't I? Hmm, I may have to do that, even though there's that huge aggressive expansion, expansion against me. Well, that'll probably have to wait till another video, though, offhand. Because of uh, where things are going. Denmark has no allies, though, so I might as well just attack them. Um, I will launch that, and then I will continue to the next video, where I will definitely beat them up. No special favors. So, war against Denmark. I'm not even going to call any allies in, really. Um, there we are. Okay. And that will be it for this video. Next time I'll probably take the rest of Denmark's lands, deal with the resulting coalition, and overall just try and hold on to the HRE. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you all next time. Leave any comments or stuff below. Bye for now.